Hello everyone, it's Catherine here from Ingy Finger Cat, back with another Christmas in July project. So I decided I wanted to use the Mammer Elephant Snowman um, stamp and I wasn't entirely sure what I was going to do but I decided to stamp it all in one go but actually make two cards out of the same panel. Um, so I decided what I wanted was it to be a sort of a slim tall image which obviously when it's a long horizontal image is an interesting way to go in your thought process but that's what I decided I wanted to do I have made cards like this in the past um and with this card uh with this stamp and I just decided to go with a similar sort of feel as what I've used in the past um so I stamped him out, uh, stamped out the, the snowman and then stamped out just using the remaining ink onto some scrap paper and then I'm just going to mask off. Um, there are better ways of doing this like using a post-it or something along those lines or proper masking paper but no I just went with plain old paper and you'll see I make a bit of a, bit of a mess of it. Now I've disappeared off camera because I know somewhere I've got some masks some moon masks and here they are and this is where it's going to look really odd because I'm going to put two moons on at once uh, but because I know I'm going to cut these into two panels that's the reason why. I started off with my stamping up inks but I decided that they weren't juicy enough so I went in with my distress inks and I just had a whale of a time inking up in lots of different colours to make my night sky because I kind of wanted, not an aurora borealia, not a northern lights look, but something that showed sort of like some depths and different colours, not just a black sky or a blue sky. So I've used tumble glass, um, salty ocean, shaded lilac, I think that one was. What else have I got going in? Uh, some faded jeans, I think that is can't read it from here um and then i go in with the hickory smoke uh next and then i go in with the black soot so you can see here it sort of like changes and then we go in with the black soot at this point I take the moon masks off they've shifted around a little bit anyway but they give the the right impression of that's a dark sky with a moon that's what i wanted um, so now I'm taking my little um, splatter brush and I'm just doing a, a little bit of splattering of white uh, of water and then I'm using my gesso in order to, to give it a good generous amount of splatter of snow or stars, don't know, whichever one you want them to be and then I have to give it a good old dry because what I don't want to do is to smear any of those stars when I'm doing my colouring in it. Now I keep all my snowmen white pretty much there's not much to do with a snowman apart from keeping them white um but obviously all my little snowmen have got little accessories they're either wearing a hat or a scarf or uh, they're carrying a cup or there's all sorts of stuff going on there so i decided to color and i kept the color tones very similar to the colors i'd used in the sky so that they'd all tone in uh, so there's green although i had in green which wasn't in the sky but you know what i mean um but I've got green, blues, um, purples, and then kind of quite a bright pinky purple for um, the final little bits and pieces. Now, for a change, I've used my Stampin' Right markers. Oh, obviously, orange is for the carrot noses, but it's only tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of orange, but it, it gives it a little bit of a snowman nose, obviously. Um, yeah, I don't often use my Stampin' Right markers for colouring. They're not really brilliant for colouring in because, um, especially if, on this kind of paper uh, it absorbs really quickly but they were only small areas i wanted to color so it was better to use these than the pro markers or the stamping blends because i didn't want them to blend outside of the black lines uh, some of my markers are a little bit uh, dodgier than others so some actually ended up going in the bin after this this project because they actually didn't have much ink left in them uh, but it's only when you use them do you know so yeah um i think that's it yeah adding a little bit of black for the the coal buttons and then it's time to chop down my panel so first of all turned it into a square and then i chose a very slim line and a slightly fatter one obviously the fatter one for the bigger moon um and that's how i decided on that 
decided to mount them both onto black cardstock. Um, I thought it would give it a nice frame and as a result I did need to just trim them down slightly in terms of their length. Uh, to fit onto there I didn't want them to go the full length of the card blank um, so they are a little bit shorter um, and I've just used my Pritt stick in order to stick them into place onto those black panels I do keep these cards really simple because I think when they've got that much going on in the actual image you want that to shine really you don't want to distract and put loads of extra stuff on it so there's my two main things done, just on a simple, um, usual A6 sort of size card. And then I've grabbed those Tim Holtz sentiments that I'm working my way through and I'm just deciding what to do with them and decide that I just want to just put a little mat of white on them um, and then stick them onto the card. So both of them very similar in design, just opposite sides. Um, and we are going to stick that down and then I go in with some sequins and these are sort of like a purpley black sequin and again I think that goes with the colours that are in the sky and the images and I'm just going to stick those down and that's it that's basically it um, just positioning those in place and then you can see there from the pictures done and dusted kept it so simple because those those images do the job really so I hope you enjoyed. I enjoyed playing with this stamp set for um, something a little bit different. And um, please subscribe if you want to see more. Hit the notification bell to be informed. But until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.